This is engineering on the cheap and we have a little problem to fix. Key broken, lock expensive. We don't want to buy another one so we want to get the key out of there. So <clears throat> what do we do? We take a look at this, we try and pick it out. No we don't. Okay so we look at this close, more closely and we see Allen key there and let's try and pull out the whole lock set or the whatever they call it I guess the lock the bolt don't know the terminology and don't care that's why we're on the cheap because if you knew the terminology right you wouldn't be doing this for this cheap Take that to the bench. Okay, so now the way this is made, there's a roll pin there, and I think there's another roll pin here, but we don't care about this roll pin. We care about this roll pin, so we're gonna push out this roll pin, and we're going to um, access the back of the lock and push out the key. Now when we do that, we gotta make sure the, uh, the tumblers don't go flying out here. Okay, so we're just using this piece of sill floss, right, to hammer that out. Yes, there are something called a roll pin punch, and they're the ones to use those punches because um, the geometry of them. There's a little cone in the front of them, and uh, they don't spread open the the roll pin as you're punching them through. However, if you don't have it, and this works, then use what works on the cheap. Mind you, those roll pin punches are cheap. They're inexpensive, so go buy a set. Okay, so now with that roll pin just pushed through ever like that, ever so slightly, we have this piece removed and we have access to the back of the key. And the, 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 um, those cogs are not going to come through there because it's rotated 90 degrees, so we're safe. I mean, I don't know much about locks, but I know a little bit. So we're good to go. We can just press out that that key. So we're going to get something to press it out. Probably use a piece of wire, uh, slightly thinner than this uh, the sill floss. Okay, actually we had to rotate that 90 degrees because it was a lock holding the key inside. So uh, we're just going to press that out now, the key, and it's starting to come out as you can see. Oh, I got the shakes. Got to have another cup of coffee, I guess. out on the cheap the only thing left to do is slide the lock back together and of course uh, of course you need a key in order to um, rotate that so I don't have the other key on me so we do have other keys we don't have this is not the only key here right so we just have to rotate it push it in and then push the pin lock in the pin all right so this is pretty much a fix thanks for watching this was a quick one but thanks for all your support this is engineering on the cheap okay customer is trying out the lock now let's see oh wait there you go lock it it's nicely locked and then unlock Perfect. Oh, now just the bill, boy. Now the bill.